All right, so first stab uh, calling out uh, to the ring. Uh, give it up for him. Uh, France! Enzo! And next up, show some love from Thailand. One, me, Thai. Round number 10 is presented by our title sponsor, Wide Asia Network, One Asia. And of course, as mentioned, this particular championship is for the Muay Thai against the drug champion. We'd like to invite our chief executive officer from WMC, Chris, to come on stage right now to present the belt. Yes, uh, we will be showcasing uh, the belt uh, right now. This will be the main match, the main bout of today. It is time, and I've always wanted to do that. WMC, let's get ready to rumble! First up, introducing our fighters. Fighting out of the red corner. He has a fighting record of 71 fights with 51 wins and 20 losses. Fighting out of Bull Muay Thai from France, Enzo Patrice. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, he has a fighting record of 171 fights with 134 wins and 35 losses and two draws. Fighting out of legend Muay Thai from Thailand, Wan Mi and our referee for today, give it up for, from the Philippines, Mr. Arnold. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Main event of the evening. We have Mi Chai going against Enzo, Thailand versus France. Another story of experience versus youth. Mi Chai, 41 years old. Enzo, 29 years old. Mi Chai has 171 fights. Whereas Enzo is no slouch himself. 71 fights with a record of 51 and 20. Yeah, Mi Chai is a coach of the Singapore national team. So well known within the local community here. Has the experience advantage. Also significantly older. 41 as you mentioned, Alvin to Enzo's 29. We have another example of youth versus experience here. 
But Enzo, no slouch with the experience. 71 fights is nothing to scoff at. Michai is also the holder of a slew of belts. He won the Patong Stadium belt, the International Muay Thai Champion belt, and the Western Thailand Champion belt, among other things. Coach and owner of Legend Muay Thai and coach of the Singapore national team, as I mentioned. This final bout of the evening, the main event for the belt, should be a great one. Both men are very experienced. Michai's message to the audience is Muay Thai is my way of life, and he would like to share this passion with all of you today. Please enjoy. Whereas Enzo, confident, says, be prepared to get shocked by my skills. Enzo started at 21. He's been living in Thailand for the last eight years. Training, coaching. So very familiar with the Thai style. Of course, France, well known for producing incredible Muay Thai fighters. In Europe, I would say that France has probably the best Muay Thai scene. Of course, a great kickboxing scene as well, along with Holland but really produces top quality Muay Thai fighters in a classic France versus Thailand Muay Thai bout for the belt here in our main event at World Muay Thai Championship Pro Series 2. Look at how smooth Michai's white crew was too. It's what you get if you, if you do it 171 <laughs> times. Yeah, that's right. Final prayers. Mokong coming off the head. And here we go. Main event of the evening. One Round Michai one. versus Enzo. Another, this is five rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Five rounds here for the belt. Another Southpaw versus Orthodox matchup, seems like. Hard push kick by the Thai. Yeah, Enzo fighting from the Southpaw stance. Michai fighting Orthodox. Both men looking for those center line shots with the rear leg. Classic open stance fighting. Enzo just tapping with those shots, being loose and relaxed, lifting both his legs. Oh, I love that. Rear leg kick to the body, followed by the cross. Really sneaky combination, hard to see coming. Very popular combo in elite athletes nowadays. Enzo, a little uppercut there. Both men feeling each other out here in the first minute of the bout. Oh, Michai hits him with a nice right hand and a good right hand to the body. Body hook just missed by Enzo. Enzo's doing a good job of, of trapping the hands as he comes in. Woo, that right hand from Michai is fast though. Woo. Both men exchanging combinations here. Retaking the center. Michai 41 still fast. Nice left cross to the body there from Enzo. Oh, and a nice left hand. Enzo just stalking him here against the ropes. Michai does a nice push kick. Covered to some of the distance there. Whoa, and a quick left kick. Enzo counters with his own left kick. Body shot by Enzo. Both fighters just staying nice and tactical, reading each other. Nice high kick by Enzo, blocked. Yeah, Enzo just kind of stalking him here. He's gonna have to pull the trigger and counter some of these shots. 
Me tried doing a nice job controlling the range. This teeps here. I think, Luke, since this is a traditional five round fight, normally for the first round, they use the first round to read each other and they're gonna open up in second, third, and fourth. Yeah, both men feeling each other out here a little bit. Whoa. All right, end of Great round match. one. Both fighters very sneaky. That, that switch leg sweep at the end was really nice by Michai. Yeah, they're both feeling each other out a little bit here in round one. You can expect the pace to get significantly faster as the fight progresses more and more into the third, fourth, and fifth round. Fighting five rounds is difficult. It's extremely exhausting. So pacing yourself is really, really important. Both men very measured here in the first round. I wonder who's going to start to push the pace here. Both guys very measured there. Seems like there's still an opportunity for either guy to really, really take advantage here. Round one was pretty even. So we'll see if round two they pick up the pace. Meech just has so many titles, so much experience. But both men looking very technical. Seconds out. Seconds out, please. Very knowledgeable here in that Seconds first round. Out. Yeah, with how experienced they are, they're not going to bump round two. in the first round and blow their loads, right? So very nice technical round. They're going to open up in the second and the third. Nice right hook there from Enzo and a good rear leg teep. Nice switch teep from Michai. Michai has a beautiful stabbing teep. Good. Enzo putting on a little pressure here. Nice counter by Michai. I like how Enzo's starting to pressure him with his footwork a little bit, though. Jab by Michai. Resetting the distance. Good head movement the by Michai. Of Michai, very good. Wow, and that kick comes fast. Nice left hand by Enzo. A good left kick. Enzo switching stances. Body kick sneaks in there and a rear leg teep from Michai. From Michai. Michai is doing a really nice job of controlling the distance with those kicks. The teep kicks, the leg kicks, switch teeps. There's another one. Yeah, Michai is really beginning to open up. Body shot lands by Enzo. Right hand misses. Michai goes right back to the teeps. Hard inside leg kick. Enzo switching back and forth, man. He's orthodox now. He's going to change southpaw later. Yeah, he's trying to give him different looks, but Michai's teep is just causing Enzo all kinds of difficulties here. Oh, but there's a nice way to cover the distance. Nice body hook there. He needs more of that. Great catch and counter by Enzo. Enzo's he's gonna come in now. He's gonna have to get inside and make it a little dirty too. Can't keep taking these teeps all day. He's just doing a great job of snuffing his range. That's another one. Michai with a smile on his face. He looks like he's fighting his fight right now. Fighting in his range, his tempo, and Enzo having a real tough time getting inside and actually landing clean. Nice left kick by Enzo. Nice right hand there from Enzo. Yes, yeah, switching his stance a lot, trying to get different angles. Enzo's having more success in the later oh, rounds. Countering to the nice body, body countering to the head. There. I like
like that body work. That's it for round two. Couple cheeky Damn. ones there at the end. Enzo has some really nice body shots. He, he was having, Enzo was having trouble early in the round getting his range, but towards the end he found it, started landing a slew of body shots. Nice left cross landed to the hit. This is turning out to be an exciting fight. Yeah, now I think we're really gonna start to pick this up as we head into round three. Couple really close rounds there. Neither guy doing a ton of damage, mostly just kind of poking at each other, kicking at each other. Round three, this is typically where we're gonna start to really see the pace change as both guys look to assert their dominance coming into the mid part of this fight. And like we were saying, Luke, those body shots are an investment that pays dividends down the line. They're gonna add up and there's three more rounds to go. So we'll see if Enzo pays more attention to the body shots, might prove a good strategy. He obviously wants to hit those body shots. He's doing, a, he's doing a good job of throwing them once he gets inside. The question is gonna be, can he consistently get inside to land those shots? I also like to see him pair some uppercuts in there with those body hooks, right? When you throw those body hooks, the elbows are gonna come down. It's gonna open up. The punch is coming low right up the center line. It'd be nice to see him throw some uppercuts in there or maybe a knee to the head even. Yeah, Enzo needs to get past two things. He needs to get past that teep and he needs to start cutting, we, cutting Michai off. So he's following Michai Second around out. the ring a little bit. Second he starts out, to please. use lateral movement a little bit and Second cut him out. off to use those body shots. Oh, why do I know? Hey, these guys got 71 fights. Yeah, they've got 200 between the, more than 200 between the two of them. Very, very experienced fighters here. Is something going on with uh, Michai's leg? Yeah, doctor's checking out his knee. Maybe a clash of knees there or a check kick. Oh yeah, looks like Michai's having some trouble here with his right leg. Doctor's taking a close look at it. Could be a ligament maybe? Could be a stability issue? It looks from here, Luke, that his knee looks like it's buckling. Yeah, to me that suggests maybe a ligament. Yeah, he seems to be having some problem. They're taking off the... Oh, oh and they're waving off the fight. That's it. Enzo with the win here. As Michai is having some problem with his right leg, I wonder what caused that. It could be so many things. They're both kicking each other. It could be a check kick. It could be a kick, uh, uh, throwing a knee and catching an elbow. It could just be planting it wrong and maybe causing some damage to some of the ligaments in the knees there. Kind of an anticlimactic end to our main event here. But of course, safety always comes first. And congrats to Enzo here for getting the win in our main event. And yes, both fighters. Of WMC Pro Series Let's get it two. for both the fighters right now. Yeah, Alvin, and you can see Michai having a real problem Michai putting Michai any weight on that leg. A drugs, a championship. It was an unfortunate ending and to what was shaping up to be a very good strategical fight. But, hey, like you said, look, fighter safety is always of paramount importance. Enzo Patrice! And presenting for bout number 10 is our title sponsor, White Asian Network. We have CEO Mr. Leg to present the belt. Great match, great match. <laughs> now let's take a group photo together with the Ringos as well. Oh yes, I think we have our Ringos to join us as well. Well done, congratulations, Enzo. How are you feeling after getting the belt? I feel good, but a little bit disappointed about my, the injury for my opponent, but this is the Muay Thai, you know, it can happen. 
Okay, but of course, uh, with that said, uh, right now you're in Singapore. You know, how are you? How, you have been training for, for quite a while with Muay Thai. What do you think about actually the Muay Thai scene in Singapore? Yes, okay. It's, it's pretty nice, and I think the, the, the next event is going to be better and better and better. Well done. Uh, congratulations, Hanzo! Congratulations. We can't wait to see you back again here in Singapore on the ring here. And uh, with that, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.